All right, guys, I put up a poll. I went to YouTube, I went on the community page, and I just put a poll. I said, who should, not who do you want, not who do you think, the word should matters here, but who should Marvin Vittori fight next? I demanded that Sean Strickland be on that list. I wrote the list, but I wanted Sean on there because I thought that was a no-brainer. You must get Marvin and Sean together. You guys agreed with me. 41%, we had tens of thousands of people vote. Sean won 41% of the vote. Derek Brunson did okay. Paulo Costa in a rematch, not so much. Now, they're also separated in a weight class, it appears. Marvin goes back to 85. Paulo stays at 205. That's a little bit of a work in progress. But number two behind Sean was Robert Whitaker. Okay. I'm bringing you this to let you know that I share your sentiment. Sean Strickland, Marvin Vittori makes all the sense. Two guys, straight badasses. Nobody wants to fight either of them. Blah, blah, blah. Turns out they're training partners. I don't want the fight anymore. I'm out. I did not know that they worked out together. And I do know the proximity. I know Sean does a, a lot of training in California, but I thought he had moved fully to Vegas. And I know Marvin Vittori does some training in Vegas, but mainly in California, somewhere within what I just said, I am geographically off if the information I'm being told is true and these guys are teammates. If they're teammates, I don't need to see that. If you're talking about a championship match and you have something different, I'm sure we, we, we could all say, yeah, all right. R uh, Rory McDonald, George St. Pierre, even if the fight didn't happen, but that type of scenario. I don't like the idea of teammates. I, I don't want to be behind promoting it and pushing these guys and trying to split something up. I just don't like that. There was a show a number of years ago. It never got off the ground. In the world of scumbag, but also in the world of really bad ideas, you're going to find them in MMA. But some scumbag with a bad idea was going to do a show called Brotherly Love. And he was going to have Mark and Matt Hughes fight one another. He was going to have the Sarah brothers fight one another. The main event was going to be Ken against Frank Shamrock. And I don't know what he had agreed. I don't know who said, yes, we'll do it. And who did it? I just know the Shamrocks had all, they said, yes, they said, yes, or they flirted with it. Or maybe it was just Frank, but there was some kind of a momentum why that was going to be the anchor. That was going to be the main event. I remember seeing that. And that would be interesting. Like those two have never quite gotten along. And then the real story, even though they're both sham, they were both adopted. So there was a little bit more to the story where they were competitor. And when Bob brought him in, and this is what Bob did to get a lot of that anger and frustration to learn discipline and motivation. Bob Shamrock was just a saint of a person, as I understand. I never had the pleasure of meeting him, but these two wanted to compete. And there was a hell of a story there, but guys, it felt wrong. In spite of that whole story, something in my stomach, it doesn't feel right. Brotherly love brothers are going to go fight each other. That's disgusting. This just got tested. Reese Humphrey had to wrestle Jordan Humphrey for the world championship last weekend. And before the match, I thought they would flip a coin. That's very common when two brothers meet up in the world of wrestling. They will flip a coin right there in front of everybody, walk out, and then that guy forfeits. My cousins, this was tested. Corey and Ty. Both very good wrestlers, but Ty older. There was no flipping of a coin. Older brother wins every single time. That's how my uncle wanted it. That was it. So now you're going to have these two brothers go out and fight. I mean, the Humphrey boys went out and they wrestled for that championship, by the way. But there was just something about, I didn't want to see the result. I didn't want to know. There was something about it. And that's just wrestling. You want to put these guys out there. You want them to fight. I mean, I'm sharing with you so that you know I'm very sincere. I possibly am the one that started this. I called for that fight right away on ESPN. Sean Strickland, Marvin Vittori, called for it right away. I put up a poll on the internet. I've gotten you guys to go along with me. Guys, we got to take it back. Those guys are training. If angry Marvin has got a guy who likes him in Sean Strickland, let's let him have a friend, okay? And if Sean Strickland has somebody who doesn't fall for the crazy Sean and thinks he's a good dude the way I do... Let's let him have his friend. And there was even reports. I can't confirm this. I can't reach Sean is my problem. I have one number for Sean that it turns out is Sean's girlfriend. So now going to Sean's girlfriend, the only, the only woman I go to is Stipe's old lady because we're pen pals. But I don't feel, I, I got to go to the guy. I just do. I, just, I have to go to the guy. So when I reach out to Sean and it turns out it's his girlfriend, okay, great, I'm out. 
Thank you for letting me know. I will never text this number again. And then it turns out it's the ex-girlfriend. So now I can't even say, by the way, do you have a number for Sean? It put me in one of these weird spots. I don't know how to get a hold of Sean. And this is an ex-girlfriend of, by the way, seven years ago. It's not even recent. So I don't have any, I can't confirm any of this, but I'm being told by very good sources that I trust, most of them you, most of them you, but you give me good information that they're workout partners and that Sean even cornered Marvin before or vice versa. If they got a friendship, if they're working towards, even if it's within the same organization in the same weight class, but a similar goal and they're helping one another, we can find other people for Sean and for Marvin to fight. Can we agree on that? 